DevOps brought us infrastructure as code, but what about managing your database as code? Hey everyone, my name is Brian Morrison. I'm on the developer education team here at PlanetScale. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the Atlas CLI, which is a simple command line utility that lets you manage the schema of your database using definition files, just like you would manage your infrastructure with tools like Terraform and AWS CloudFormation. To follow along with this guide, make sure that you have a PlanetScale account set up, the PlanetScale CLI installed and configured, as well as the Atlas CLI installed. I will leave links on how to do each one of those in the description below. And with that, let's get started. Okay, since a lot of the work we'll be doing today will be using the terminal, I'm going to use the PlanetScale CLI in order to create a database, a password, and then add a table to that database before we move on to looking at the Atlas CLI. I'm gonna start by, type, by creating that database, pscale database, create, and then I'll create a database called hotels underscore DB and hit enter. Now that that database has been created, we need to generate a password so we can use the Atlas CLI to connect to the database. I will use the command pscale password, create, and then we put the name of the database, so hotels underscore db, the name of the branch, which is going to be main, main is the default branch, and then a reference for the password. I'll type in my hyphen password. And then I'm also going to add double hyphen format to change the output format of this command just to suit the video better. And then I'm going to type in CSV. Now, when I hit enter, you'll see there's a lot of text that was generated, but the main uh, portion you want to be interested in is actually right towards the bottom. So underneath this uh, production node here, we have these four values here, database, username, host, and password. You're going to want to copy these values off somewhere because we're going to reference them when we actually use the Atlas CLI. It's also worth mentioning that anyone who has these credentials can connect to your database and perform any operation they want to. So you definitely want to keep these credentials a secret. Now let's connect to the database using the shell command of the planet scale CLI and create a table that we can use with the Atlas CLI. I'm going to use pscale shell followed by hotels underscore DB and then main for the main branch and hit enter. This is going to open up a shell session to the database branch directly, where I can paste in a command here to create a hotels table. The table is going to contain four columns, an ID column, which acts as the integer and the primary key for these rows, a name column, which is a varcar 50 or string column, an address, which is also a string column, and then a stars column, which is numeric, and it's supposed to represent the rating of a stars on something like a hotels review website. We can check that the table was successfully created using the describe hotels command. And in the output of the describe command, you can see the four columns that was created by the previous statement. Okay, so I have VS code open here and I have a script file I've created called run.sh. And this is going to contain the commands we're going to run to test out the Atlas CLI. So the first line here is actually a conn underscore str variable that I'm creating, which is going to hold the connection string. And the format is going to be like MySQL colon slash slash the username colon password at the host URL, and then forward slash the database name, which we have here as hotels underscore DB. Okay, so I populated those values in my connection string. Now we're going to use the inspect command of the Atlas CLI in order to generate a schema.hcl file, which contains the definition of our schema. We can do this with Atlas schema inspect and hyphen U for the connection string. We're gonna pass in the con and underscore str variable. And then we're going to pipe all of this output to a file called schema.hcl. I'll save this. And inside of the integrated terminal in VS Code, I will run our script that we just created. And since there's no error output, the command ran successfully. You'll notice that a file called schema.hcl was created that actually contains the full definition of that hotels table. Now we're going to take a look at how we can use the apply command in order to make changes to the database based on the schema.hcl file. Let's add a new column to this table. We'll name the column description, and then let's add some properties here. I'm going to set null to false, which means that this column must contain a value. And then I'm going to set the type to varcar 100. So it's a text field that contains a little bit more data than the name or address. OK, I saved the file. I'm going to go back into my run.sh and comment out this line here. And then let's type in atlas schema apply. We'll use hyphen u to pass in our connection string again. And then instead of piping the outputs of this command to something, we're going to use hyphen f for the file and type in schema.hcl to reference the file that we had created in the previous step. 
Okay, I'll save this and I'm gonna run it in the integrated terminal one more time. And the Atlas CLI will tell us the command that's gonna run against our database. So we can see the only thing being done is an alter table command on the hotel's database to add that description column. We have the option to either apply the changes or abort them. I'll select apply and hit enter. And you can see we have a green check mark, which means the commands all ran successfully. Okay, I'm back in my other terminal window here, and I'm connected to the main branch of the hotel's DB using the pscale shell command. And then in order to see the changes that were applied from the Atlas CLI, let's type in describe hotels one more time. And we can see the original four fields are still there, ID, name, address, and stars, but description also exists now. And this is the column that was added by Atlas in our changes to that schema.hcl file. Have you used the Atlas CLI or know of any other similar tools? Comment below and let us know. For more guides on how to use PlanetScale, visit planetscale.com and check out our blog and documentation portal where we're posting new guides all the time. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.